What up, gang? Line here on Jackpot Time coming at you. It is 1 a.m. on Sunday morning. It's actually, I guess it's 2 a.m., right? Doesn't the time change like soon? I'm looking for it on my truck to see if it updates by itself. Anyway, uh, huge, huge, huge victory by Coach Lamont Paris. Quarter zip. And the South Carolina Gamecocks once again today. <clears throat> they cap off the regular season with a 93-89 overtime win in Humphrey Coliseum against uh, Mississippi State, a, a place where South Carolina's only won four times since they've been in the SEC. That's kind of um, hard to imagine, but evidently the old hump has been a house of horrors. For South Carolina basketball, they get it done again today. And once again, they get it done as a damn underdog. I don't know. Uh, you know Las Vegas, they talk about, oh, they, 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 they built, they, they tear down the old casinos, build bigger casinos because of idiots like you, but you know, TV. not South Carolina. South Carolina has been cashing tickets all year long. They have had us as underdogs in some of the craziest spots that you could imagine after we had already proved time and time and damn time again that we're going to win. I'm going to go back over the schedule when I get time to in the next few days. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to recap um, all the times that South Carolina has covered and won as an outright dog and all that good shit. Uh, because it's just absolutely mind-blowing, the things that they've done this year. But B.J. Mack, what, I think 25 points today. Somebody new steps up every week. And this game should not have gone to overtime. Uh, South Carolina was winning by two. And then with, uh, like, 1.2 seconds left, the Mississippi State player trips over South Carolina player's foot, driving, I guess, kind of to get to the right wing, I don't know if he's going. He didn't have a shot. There, there was there was nothing over there. The time was going to run out. It probably they weren't going to get a shot off. But he trips over our player, and our player gets called for a foul. I mean, whenever contact like that happens, somebody's got to get called for something. That's really unfortunate. And he goes and hits two free throws. But um, you know, they say the ball don't lie. Well, the ball kind of lied here because he hit two free throws they really didn't deserve because that's not really a foul i mean it's that's not blocking that's not that's a bullshit foul but it has to be called because there's contact anyway uh but south Carolina ended up winning the game in overtime um and they deserve to win and that's exactly what they did um could, i mean it uh, just a an uncanny turnaround. They have doubled, over doubled the number of wins from last year, and they have cut uh, two thirds of the losses off of last year's tally. So they finish up the regular season, what, 24 and 6, tw uh, 13 and 5 in SEC play. They ended up in a four way tie for second place with Kentucky, Alabama, Auburn, <coughs> and. Um, the Gamecocks, but we get seated fifth in the uh, SEC tournaments. So we don't get the double bye um, thanks to uh, Kentucky uh, beating Tennessee today. Um, we don't get that one. Uh, and then, of course, Auburn and Alabama both finished with the same record we did, but we lost to both, both Auburn and Alabama. So they got a tiebreaker over us there. And then Kentucky has the tiebreaker because they beat the Vols today in uh, in Knoxville, which is that, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, I was hoping that we'd be the only team to do it this year, but uh, congratulations to Kentucky. And South Carolina could have just managed to win one of those games. Um, and honestly, the, the game against Tennessee – uh, this past Wednesday night was closer than either the Auburn or the Alabama game. We got blown out in both of those. I would love to get a hold of Alabama again because they are starting to slump. They were really hot when we played them really early in the SEC season, 
and we had them tied at halftime and then we went out in the second half and just laid a humongous turd and lost 74 47 but i'd like to get a hold of them again so in the second round which will be uh wednesday i believe we are going to take on the winner of the game between Vanderbilt and Arkansas from the day before. We'll play in the second game of the day, which should get started probably about three-ish or so, I would think. Uh, so, hey, uh, great stuff. And then South Carolina's women's basketball team today. I'd be remiss if I didn't um, mention that. I, what was that, the uh, second round game, they call it, uh, in the uh, – used to be the Bilo Center. Now it's the uh, Bon Secours Arena Wellness Arena. Bon Secours Wellness Arena over in Greenville. They win by a point over the uh, Tennessee Lady Vols. Hit a shot right at the end to win that thing. Kind of scary stuff there. I mean, they, eat, <coughs> they beat <coughs> Tennessee pretty well in the regular season. So, you know, really shouldn't be. Uh, it's kind of not great. But I guess Tennessee's team got up for that uh, that game against South Carolina, and South Carolina was just kind of coasting, like, you know, what the hell ever, we're just going to keep being undefeated, and you almost didn't. Um, so that, that would have been a, a bad bunch to lose it to. Now, I don't have the disdain for Tennessee women's basketball. Certainly, I don't that I do the men's basketball. And I certainly don't have the disdain for either the men's or women's basketball or the baseball like I do the football. So, I mean, it's really – I, I really – don't get that upset uh, about any other Tennessee sports other than football. Let's just be real. Uh, it's just because the fans are just absolutely uh, egregious assholes. But it is what it is. You know who you are. You are what you are, and uh, you're not going to change. Anyway, um, great show today about the Gamecocks. Couldn't be prouder. Um, and hey, I was at the game Wednesday night. We've only got three players uh, that walked on senior night. And on two of them uh, actually, you know, contribute a lot. The other guy, Stephen Clark, he doesn't play a whole lot. Um, but the other two uh, is one's B.J. Matt, the other one's Delon Cooper. But you know, other than that, we've still got a good nucleus coming back next year. We've got a hell of a recruiting class coming in as well. They ought to back the Brinks truck up, and I hope they have. And they're in the process of rewriting this guy a new contract. They need to get it written. They need to get it done. And they do not need to let him go anywhere because I believe he likes it at South Carolina. So, I mean, if he likes it here and you pay him enough, he'll stay. But you fuck around and you'll find out. And you're going to lose him. And then we'll be stuck with another Darren Horn or another damn, uh, I don't know what coaching his team and you know I'll be pissed and then that damn arena will be three quarters empty again so it'll be like the the one season of quarters up that we remember and that it's a fleeting moment that's gone anyway I'll see you guys later on I appreciate it uh, if you're new around here stay true around here thumbs up on this video uh, oh also down in the uh, description box below I'm gonna leave the link to my PayPal Venmo and cash app $20 to get in the uh, Callaway's College Basketball. Uh, I don't know what we're calling it. The March Madness bracket that uh, me and Rob are doing with the show. I've already got Bulldog JC, who's jumped in early. I mean, you have plenty of time to get your money in. Uh, but, you know, I, those games start up, what, Thursday, I think, of not this coming week, but next week. So, yeah, it's coming. Uh, March Madness is almost here. Anyway, I appreciate it, guys. I'll see you all later. Peace. I'm out of here. Go Gamecocks. Ah, ah, ah. And go quarter zip. <laughs>